Here are five basic facts about live action role play. And welcome to day 40 of Sonia's Adventures. If you're interested in love, these five things are probably the questions that you are interested in the most. And they're also the things that we as LARPers get asked all the time. So let's help everybody with a quick, very basic and entertaining video. Question number one. One. Live action role play, how does that work? Imagine hundreds of people in a setting that probably reminds you of Lord of the Rings, Mad Max, Star Trek or Braveheart. They all accept the same rules just like in a gigantic video game. And within this fantastic world, they play their own role. You can wear your own costumes and you can use foam weapons like this one. There are a lot of game masters that make sure that the battles are safe and that you can ask whenever you need help. Because LARP is way more than just fighting. Imagine a big story, it's called plot. It's basically what happens in Lord of the Rings when they don't fight. There's a story. And the cool thing is, you, my dear Frodo, can change the fate of the whole world. Because in LARP, the story changes however you want it to change. Hmm, but how do battles work? Imagine it a bit like paintball. You get hit a couple of times, you go down. And the more armor you have, the more hit points you have. Okay, and then you're dead? Well, it totally depends on the setting how fast you die, but it's very common that you're first unconscious and then need to get healed. And if that doesn't happen in time, well, pff, start doing a new costume. Ah, so do people cheat? Well, it's very rare that people cheat. Most people stick to the rules. But if you see somebody like that, ignore him or her because nobody likes power players. Two. All right, all right, all right. So how many people do this? Well, the biggest LARP event in the world is called Conquest of Mythodea and it has 8,000 people attending. According to the numbers in retail, there's about 80,000 people LARPing in Germany. And if I can trust Facebook, there's more than 1 million LARPers in the whole of Europe. But with the boom of shows like Game of Thrones and Vikings, there's definitely a rise in LARPers all over the world. Three. Ah, so do you all run around like in Lord of the Rings? <laughs> no, there's way more than that. There's fantasy, there's post-apocalyptic, there's science fiction, there's vampires, there's historical art. Well, you think of it, it's probably there. If you want to know more, well, check out this video on the four most popular settings in LARP. Four. Okay, now hold on. Why? What's the reason for LARP? Guys, I could fill a whole video about that. But the most important reason to me are the experiences. LARP is breathtaking. The wild dancing around crackling bonfires at night. The fierce battles with so many people. The unbelievable camaraderie between people of all ages, all backgrounds and all nations. Spending days in the outdoors with no emails and no mobile phone, just relaxing. The list of reasons for LARP is endless. Five. So where and when do you play? Well, there are LARP events basically every weekend all over Germany, all over Europe, the United States, Australia. There's LARPers everywhere. There are often not more than 30 people, but nonetheless, a lot of fun. Just get yourself informed about your local LARP scene by Googling LARP plus your region or your city. And use those hundreds of LARP groups on Facebook because guys, this community is so warm and welcome. Just ask. And then I hope to welcome you all into our big and badass LARP family. Oh, and one last thing. Why am I afraid of this beautiful lady? Well, that's the story for a different day. Hey there, did you like the video? Then hit like on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube for daily videos.